Assalamu alaikum and hello everyone. This is Adil Uda. This is the first video of the series of how to recruit. Welcome to how to recruit. Are you tired of always wasting your time and money in recruiting the wrong candidates? Let me tell you how to hire the right person in the right position. The right recruitment process consists of five steps. In this video, we will discuss the first step. The first step, you should have the job description for the vacancy. But first, what is a job description? Let's have some examples. A job description is a template that summarizes the essential responsibilities, activities, qualification, and skill for a role. Also, this document describes the type of work performance. A job description should include important company details, company mission, cultural, and any benefit it provides to employees. The recruiter should understand the job description, including the job and the job holder parts. It is also known that a good recruiter will even show the employees to best understand the job description and may ask the supervisor or job holder for a better understanding. In this way, the recruiter will have information that are not to be found in documents. Then you should have an organization chart ready. Let me tell you what is an organization chart. An organization chart is a graphic representation of the structure of an organization showing the relationship of the position and duties within it. The recruiter will also meet the department heads, section, managers, and supervisors, as they are simply his or hers internal customers. So it is important to have an organization chart for better understanding of how organization works and how to report. After that, you should have a position control sheet ready for your use. A position control sheet is a sheet that refers to a system of tracking information based on position rather than employees. It creates a framework of positions for all the jobs within RIT without regard to whether there is an incumbent in a specific job or not. Any company should have a position control sheet that includes the below. Department, section, position, position code, job description verifi verification, last update of the job description. Step two, workforce planning. Workforce planning is the process of analyzing, analyzing, forecasting, and planning workforce supply and demand. Assessing gaps and determining target talent management intervention to ensure that an organization has the right people with the right skills in the right place at the right time to fulfill its mandate and strategic objectives. Let me give you some questions that will help you understand the business needs and labor market. Answering them with awareness will help you Build your workforce plan. What are my business goals and vision? Where is my business heading? Is it growing, transitioning, shifting skills, introducing new technology, or is it a maintenance mode? What are the economics conditions that impact on my industry sector and markets? And does this impact my business? Who are my customers or clients? What is going on internally in my business and how will this impact on my workforce requirement? What are the short, medium and long goals for my business? And what workforce skills and capabilities will I need to achieve these business goals? What are positions that are hard to recruit unique positions is an example what is the supply or demand ratio of the position 
Workload Analysis Time Motion Studies The workload analysis is the heart of the workforce planning and the borderline of your recruitment plans as it tells you as a recruiter how many employees do you need for every position. There are four types of workload analysis as below. First, white collars. Number base like sales. Two, white collars. Not number base like HR. Three, blue collars. Number base, blue collars. Number four, which is blue collars, non number base. The workload analysis should be done when the company starts new operation, a new branch starts operation, a new target is set, a new process is re redesigned, or a new position is added, stuffing plan, hiring plan. The stuffing plan is done as a result of workload analysis. Let's imagine that we need 10 accountants. And currently we have six. Do the hiring, staffing or recruitment plan simply dedicates that we hire four more accountants or dictates. There should be staffing plan for every month as this is the action plan for the recruitment section. The staffing plan should include the following. Department, section, position code, workload analysis number, on hand number, hiring number, hiring start date, target, hiring date, source channel, status of hire, the stuffing plan is the recruiter's proof of work. Yet, not all companies operate with workload analysis. Some just take the word of the hiring manager, which is not the best practice. And the other companies operate upon budget operating upon budget is not also the best practice for these companies the recruitment process starts with the hiring request form thank you i hope this video was useful see you next video